are going to try and score against Isabella. Um, and then the Crusaders and Truman, okay, are going to try and score this way against Austin. I'm from a small town in northern British Columbia called Fort St. John. Like everybody in Fort St. John, I got into hockey pretty early age. I started with speed skating and then transitioned into hockey when I was seven years old. I was fortunate enough, some really great coaches growing up just made hockey so much fun for me when I was younger and I was really fortunate enough to play in my hometown all the way up until I was 16 years old and I got an opportunity to go play junior hockey in a town uh, about five hours south of where I'm from and Prince George. Um, made, made a team there, played there for three years. While I was playing there I got recruited by Michigan State and uh, came and visited campus here and, and fell in love with the place. I felt like it was home when I first got here and I, I remember having a feeling walking around campus where I knew that this is where I was supposed to be. Um, and I had, I had some great experiences going to visit other schools where they do a nice job and it was just that feeling of, well, this is, this is the place to go. And a lot of people talking with some people afterwards, when you know it's the right spot, that's where you end up and, and, yeah, and the rest is history there. Playing here was fantastic. It's When you come in here, Coach Mason always had a speech, I think, prepared for us at the start of the year saying, these are gonna be the best four years of your life. And it's uh, and some guys kind of laugh at it at the start. And then at the end of the four years, you're like, man, that was that was pretty good. And then you look back years later, and you're like, man, that was, he was right on. It, it, it was, my experience here was next to none. We really got together as a team right from the, when I got here on campus, you got people from really all over the continent coming together to, to play and then you feel like you're you're all pulling for the one same thing. Back on defense, Brad Fast comes up and up ends Chris Sabat. Brad was an outstanding player here and an All-American and uh, um, you know wore the colors really well and you know one thing that we talk about and we're, we're trying to implement is you know just to have our, our defensemen more involved in the offense and that's kind of the way the game has gone and in order to score goals that's necessary and Brad was certainly that type of player. He missed on it, now over to Fredder, circle near side. Fredder back up to Lyles. Lyles dishes to the far circle fast. Steps between the circles, fires. It's a goal for Michigan State. Fessy's had a great history here at MSU. He was a stud back in the day, and uh, we always see a bunch of highlights of him. And you know, just looking at the stat sheets and the All-American pictures all around, all around the rink, it's pretty evident how good of a player he was. And you know, he's a Spartan through and through, and uh, that's what we want around here. The trifecta of the, the social aspect of the big university, the great schooling here, and then the unmatched hockey program, it was, it was just a no-brainer. We had really good teams. I think that we were ranked uh, first in the country as much as anybody else or more than, during that time. We went to a Frozen Four. Um, some of my teammates had some great personal success, like Ryan Miller, he won the Hobie Baker. And then a lot of us were fortunate to, after we were done, after we graduated here, to go on and play professional hockey. I was drafted by the Carolina Hurricanes, so once, uh, once I was done with my senior year, I signed a contract with them, went and finished some, played some games with uh, their minor league affiliate, and then uh, started my pro career with the Lowell Lock Monsters of the American Hockey League the next year. Got a game with the Carolina Hurricanes. With five minutes remaining in regulation, rookie Eric Stahl brought Carolina within one. Moments later, Brad Fast, playing in his first and only NHL game, beat Roberto Luongo to even the score. The Southeast Division rivals couldn't break the stalemate in overtime, making the contest the final tie in NHL history. For his part, Brad Fast became the fourth player to score a goal in his lone NHL game. It was incredible. And then when he scored, I mean, I'm proud of him all the time, but I think that I just knew that that was just a moment that is so huge. The experiences of pro hockey were, were everything that's cracked up to be. When we were in Korea, we had a baby over there. So back at our middle one was born over there and it kind of got a little crazy and we were like, you know what, I think it's time to retire. So uh, we did. It was a natural progression to come back to Michigan State. We love Michigan State. He played here. We both graduated from here. My wife is from Swartz Creek, which is just about 40 minutes down the road here. 
and we had been coming back here in the summer to do training uh, and hang out uh, in the off season for for the whole time I was a professional player. So we built, started to establish some roots here, and and then really it became home for us. It's great. I couldn't imagine it any better. I joke around saying that I won. Where in the world will we live when it was time to make the final move? This was the natural place. And it was so, it's so nice, of course. Being a part of Michigan State again is huge. Now remember, what was my goalie tip? Now be big. Be big. Right there. That's harder for them to score now, isn't it? Do you feel huge? Oh, nice shot. Sometimes when it's a nice shot, you don't have a chance. But you get out, you're nice and big, and you will. Brad does a little bit of everything. Um, he works with kids in just about every capacity, from coaching to working with our coaches that coach them. He's run off-ice training with them. Um, he does you know, some of our hockey clinics. He does, I mean, just there's uh, there's so much that he does around here. It's, it's really difficult to, to tell you just to narrow it all straight down now. Oh yeah, flying. Hurry, hurry. Are you allowed to hold the puck in your hand, Coach Kevin? <laughs> I've been out here about six years now, and um, so I haven't known the community without Brad, and quite honestly, I'd be really scared to figure out what that looked like. The kids love him, the parents love him, he gives honest and you know true information. Um, he has the kids' best interest at heart. He is just so good with kids. He has a way of getting them to listen and pay attention and respect. Uh, he definitely demands respect out there, but I don't think that he really even has to to try and get them to respect too much. He just listens and he knows the game. He's really good at it. It's yellow and blue against green. Whoa, what a shot. I described the great coaches that I had when I was younger and, and the impact they had on me in youth hockey and I'm hoping with them that I can portray hockey in the same light that, that it was shown to me. I think that it's a great sport, it's fun, the friendships that you make, the experiences that you can have with it are next to none. With Brad, one of the, the things that, that we get out of it from a selfish standpoint is, is he's outstanding at his job here. He's great around campus. He, he knows where everything is and he makes life real easy on Joe and Chris and myself. But the added bonus is, is what he does in the community. You know, he's on the ice with uh, all three of his son's teams. Uh, he's, he's involved with the schools. He, he's involved with youth hockey. He's just a very good man and good father. And I think, you know, for us and what we're trying to do here and trying to make sure that we're in the community, he's a great liaison and does a great job. When Coach Cole asked me to stay on through the change, I was I was honored. I thought that I love this program and to stay on and be part of it and be part of something exciting and, and new again here with the new staff has has been great. It's challenging every day. It's fun every day. It's new every day, and and I I, I appreciate being being part of that. When I got the job, I remember driving in that first morning. You drive in. You, see campus in that beautiful morning light. You drive past the Sparty statue, past Dem Hall, you got the stadium on one side of you and pulling into, into Munn here. It was just, I mean, again, you just have that great feeling. You know, this is where you're supposed to be. You belong here and, and yeah, it was fantastic. And really, there's not a day that goes by where it's not the same. I take the same way into, into work still and have those same, same thoughts every day.